Cloud Code became a multi-agent system with code reviewer, security reviewer, and many other agents. Use slash agents to create context efficient experts for specific tasks. Example, code reviewer, software architect, or data scientist. Use software engineer to create a feature in basic agents, then pass it to the code reviewer agent, and then to the security agent, and clicking enter. First, going to the software engineer. Next, going to the code reviewer agent to review the code. Now, using the security reviewer agent to review the existing code. Cloud Code has officially become a multi-agent system, having the ability to create custom agents. This has 10 x my productivity by creating more efficient code and on a regular basis. So I'm going to take you through step-by-step step how you can create multiple agents such as software engineer, code reviewer, and security reviewer as custom agents in Cloud Code step-by-step. Step. Even if you're an absolute beginner, you should be able to follow through. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. To install Cloud Code, just use npm i hyphen g and then this command. I'll put all the code in the description below. So after this, click enter. Now it got installed. So I'm in the folder where I want to modify few files. So you can also choose your own folder. Now I'm going to say Cloud in the terminal. So I'm doing this all in the terminal. So which you can search from your operating system as terminal. Then just type in Cloud and then clicking enter. Welcome to Cloud Code. You can see that I am in this folder, having access to this folder and all its files. Then just type slash login and then click enter. Now you can either use API key from Anthropic or subscribe to Cloud. Subscribing works out much more cheaper if you're using it on a regular basis. So after that, click enter. That will take to another page where you need to approve and you can see login successful. Next type slash agents, manage agent configuration and then click enter. So here there's an option called create new agent. So that's what I'm going to choose. So by default, everyone will have access to this general purpose agent, but I'm going to be more specific creating custom agents. So clicking create new agent, then it'll ask which folder you want to create those agents. So I'm going to choose personal. So not specific to this folder or project. So this means it's global commonly in this folder. If you choose this, these agents are specific to this folder or to this project. So I'm going to make it global saying personal and then clicking enter. Now generate with Cloud. This is more recommended because it can automatically generate it for you. So clicking enter. Now I can describe the agent. I can just say software agent, making sure that existing features doesn't break. So this Cloud is automatically generating me the agent based on the description provided. Now it's asking me, do I need to include any tools? I'm going to choose everything. But if you want to modify anything, you have the option to move accordingly. But for now, I'm going to click continue with all these tools available to this agent. Sometimes you don't need all the tools available to specific agent, such as a code reviewer. So for this purpose, software engineer, I'm going to give all access, choosing a background. And this automatically created this file, softwareengineer.md. That's where you got all the description, the system prompt, and you can modify this if you want. But for now, I'm going to click enter to continue. And now you can see the software engineer agent is ready. I'm going to create another agent, making it global, generate with Cloud software tester. Now it's generating the configuration as before. And here for the tools, I'm going to include only read only tools, not to edit anything. And then continuing, choosing the background color. And you got the description here, same as before. It got stored in this location, software tester. So you can modify this description and system prompt by opening this file. And you can see all the available tools, the read only tools, and then clicking enter. And now we got two agents, software engineer and software tester. So going to add one more security reviewer, going to do the same thing, security reviewer. Even for this, I'm going to allow only read only tools and then continue automatic color. And you got the system prompt ready. And now we got three different agents. Now I can get into work clicking escape to go back. So you can see that three different agents got created. So I'm going to give a task, add token tracking in basic agents using software engineer, then review the code using code reviewer. And then finally check for security using the security agent, providing the token tracking example in this location. So just dragging that file here and then clicking enter. So now all these three agents started working. First goes to the software engineer, 
here is the basic agents code and we are going to add token metrics. I'm just making a few modification. Next, going to the security reviewer agent and the task is now done. And this is really nice. And based on my basic agents command, it automatically improved that and added the token tracking here. That is really nice. So this is the workflow which I'm currently using to get my work done quicker and with high accuracy. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this, considering it's a multi-agent framework. Considering you already like Claude code, I also created another video, which I'll put the link in here. It's about other features of Claude code, which I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.